Welcome to episode 32 here at Shamrock Valley with me, this gaming man. Hello, we're back. We're back doing some jobs. I hope everyone's had a good Christmas. I hope everyone's having a happy new year, as happy as you can. In the UK here, we're on lockdown, so I hope, you, hope you're all cool wherever you are. Um, keeping safe and whatnot. So, sorry I've not been around for a couple of weeks. I've had a bit of a break off and we are going to make this area up here into a new field. Um, it's quite a big area. Not fully decided yet what crop we're going to put in. But, you know, like I say, it's quite a biggish area. I don't know how far to come, whether to come over on this side a bit or whether to just stay level with the back of the factory. I think we might just stay level with the factory on this side. So yeah, this is the job that we're going to do. We're going to create a new field. Just going to head back down to the farm and pick up the tractor because we're going to need a plough to plough out the, um, the ground. It's going to need lime. It's going to need fertilising. Just come around here. Park this. I'll get next to the tractor, I think. It's been a few weeks since I've uh, been on this game, so I'm a little bit out of practice with it. God, the tractor seems very tall. It's massive. Right, jump in here. So we're head down to the shop now and pick up a plough. I'm not quite sure what plough I'm going to pick up yet. Half thinking as well, buying another field as well, because we've got 122,000 now in the bank, so I might pick up another field. Done a few contracts as well, off screen as well. Just going to move these. A few, these are bag of seeds left over as well, so I'm just going to move these bag of seeds out of the way and pick this up. We've got about three seeds in it. Stick that there. So right, let's have a quick look, see what ploughs we're going to use. So after much deliberation, I think I'll go for this subsoiler, six metre job eight. Um, it just saves messing around with ploughs, you know, do six metres each time instead of just doing three or three and a half. So we're going to hire that. jump back into the tractor and hook it up. It's all hooked up. So you can put this on the front, I think. Well, you could. I don't know if they've... I think they did an update on this. You could put this on the front and you could plough quite quickly. So, we'll see. We'll do a little test. Might have changed it since. So yeah, it's still raining here. Our crops are still ready to harvest and we can't get on and harvest those at the moment. Which is a bit of a pain. We're quite wet the next few days, I think. On and off. Let's just unfold this. Slow it. I can't remember what button it is to allow us to create the field with this. I have to stick the instructions up, I think. Now there it is. Great power. Great fields. Right, away we go. Oh, switch the engine off. <laughs> like I say, I'm a little bit out of practice with this. Right, away we go. So yeah, create a nice field up here. We might as well use it. It's sort of um, basically redundant land really. I'm not going to be able to do anything with it at the moment. So we might as well make, make the most of it, make some money out of it. I could put another greenhouse or something up here, but 
I've got greenhouses, so let's do something a little bit different by creating a field. I was talking about doing it a little while ago, earlier on in the uh, in the episodes, previous episodes. So yeah, of course this plough's great. It's great if you just want to get on and make a new field, or just want to get on ploughing if you if you're not a big fan of using the ploughs. Let's try and see if it works on the front. say I don't know if they've done an update on this and it might have stopped no, it's not attached it's not attached but it's attached so we'll just drop it down here ah all right need to get it to allow to create fields again away we go Yeah, you used to be able to do like the top vehicle speed, whatever vehicle you were doing, you were able to use sort of ploughing at 30 odd mile an hour, but no, it's not. We've obviously done an update on it. No is the answer. stick this on the back now so yeah Seabor's just done a video um, on his let's play um, he's asked me to we well, he had asked me a little while ago to be one of the characters in it so go and check out his uh, his his um, survival roleplay series um, and I'm I appear in one of his uh, one of his episodes there's a character um, it's really good definitely worth a check out um, very honored to be asked from a fellow youtuber to actually be in one of their videos so yeah it's really good stuff he's a he's a good buddy is Seabor Plowing nicely, this is so much easier than using a plow. I was using a plow on some of the other fields um, at the beginning of the series. I did a lot of plowing off off screen, and I knew these things were available, but I kind of wanted to keep it sort of quite realistic, as it were. But sometimes it's just easy just to use things like this. It's a subsoiler. Does a similar job as a plough. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. So yeah, it's doing a good job. This is excellent stuff. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what to put in here at the moment. Still, still deciding. If I was staying here a little bit longer, I'd probably put something like um, poplar in maybe or something like that because I've not done any popular work uh, but yeah I think it's just going to be a cereal crop of some sort or a cr it's going to be a crop of some sort but yeah just deciding that's going to be the main thing I'll probably be having a little think off screen I'm going to work out what I'm going to put in here. Relatively big sphere. It's not massive. But like I say, it's definitely worth doing rather than letting it just be redundant. I was thinking as well as chopping in the combine harvester as well. Um, get something a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger in capacity. I say bigger, maybe something with a little bit more horsepower. Just going to square these ends up. Not hide a helper. 
must have hit a button by mistake. Send. So like this is going to probably just be a little bit of a, it could be a bit of a test plot maybe, a bit of a test field, because we're still quite cold with some of the temperatures at the moment, but this um, geo kind of lends itself to putting anything in anything really it's got a lot of, got high protection on virtually everything you put in i'm using the um dublin geo on here and it's got high protection on everything pretty much all year round so i don't know what to put in at the moment if we plant something out of the window will it germinate or will it Will it, will it germinate or will it not germinate? Still don't really know much about this new Geo. They've done an update on it mid-gameplay, mid if you like, mid-series. And, uh, yeah, it's all a bit weird. So we'll take this back to the shop. Our tractor could do with a good service as well. Looking at the... Uh, service gauge on the corner, bottom corner, bottom right hand side of the screen. So drop that off there. Let's jump in the shot. Just tab over to the subsoil, we'll turn that. How much does it cost to service it? We'll get it serviced actually. That over 1200 quid to service it behind me. And over 11 grand to paint it. We're not going to paint it. <laughs> you can stay rusty and blimey. Not made of any. Right, it's going to head back now. Back to the farm. We are going to hitch up the fertilizer spreader. Um, we're going to put a dollar per fertilizer on granule fertiliser, we've got a load of granule fertiliser I think, let's have a quick look up at the field, the handiwork we'll show you what, we, what we've done which you've probably already seen, but you can see on the screen the field info, we're going to need to lime it, obviously it's got no fertiliser states in so yeah, we're going to have to fertilise lime it, fertilise it Fertilise it again. Get another two, another two fertilising states after the first one. So we need three fertilising states. So what we'll do is we'll fertilise first, then we'll lime, then we'll fertilise, then we seed, then we'll fertilise again. And that's how I get my fertilising states in. It's going to be all a bit different once the once if we start using the uh, the new DLC, the soil DLC. So I'm going to do a bit of a jump, not a jump cut, but a bit of a time lapse while I fertilise this field.
that's limed, fertilised, or two lots of fertiliser on it. So just picking up the Cavernland e drill. I do like this e drill. I've said it many times. Part of the Cavernland DLC pack, if you if you don't know. Very good, very good drill. You can you don't need to plough with it, but I ploughed it this at this field out because obviously it's got concrete all over it. So yeah, this is a this is the um, geo that we've got, and you can you know it's got high protection on everything during frosts and cold weather on all the crops. So I'm gonna try and do soya beans. This could go terribly, terribly wrong. We might not get anything in because we're kind of sewing it slightly out the window, a day out the window. It's a bit cold, but because it's got high high pro frost protection, I'm going to give it a little try. So I'm going to do another little time lapse and see how we get on. See you on the other side. So that's sewed and we're just finishing off the fertilising. Like I say, this could go horribly wrong and it might not germinate. It's a little test, see what we can get away with. Our little test plot. Uh, actually, need to give a bit of a shout out to Dubbo20. He made a very good suggestion um, about if you're going to do potatoes if you use the premium pig food the big the lizard uh, pallet pack you can actually change 
from premium pig food to potatoes and it's much much cheaper to do that so it's something that I can't remember if I remember if I knew or whether someone like CDP might have mentioned it in the past but yeah I didn't I didn't know or forgot about it in my pea-sized brain so yeah so uh, yeah great tip thank you very much for bringing that to my attention I shall try that out another time so that's fertilized now we're gonna take this back to the back down to the farm Been round into the yard so it's been raining we've got crops ready to harvest and it's just absolutely lashing it down at the moment just gonna back this in here cedar now all the animals have been going absolutely mad as well I'm going to have to do a pig run down to the um, down to the animal dealer and sell some pigs at some point they are going absolutely ballistic and we've got more pigs I think by the seams of it that are due to give birth I think we've got about 85 85 pigs now I mean I'd sold a load not so long ago and we've got more again the sheep are doing really well as well we've had some more births with the cows as well so they're going really well so you're gonna have to do a run down to the animal dealer at some point to clear out some of the stock that's lovely. So let's have a quick look on the uh, map. So yeah, it's got high frost protection on everything and we are slightly out of the window as you can see on the uh, calendar. And it's a little bit cold for, for, uh, for seeding soybeans. Will they germinate? We'll have to just see, I guess. Bit of a test. The temperature is going to be warming up tomorrow. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get away with it. I don't know. I'm thinking of anyway. Thinking of buying field 19. Um, looked at a few fields around here in this area. Field five is another one, but that's out of our price range. Um, and field four is out of our price range. Field 21 we can get, which is about 54,000, I think it is. And field 19 might be definitely one on the list to get i was looking at field 30 over the other side of the map um that's a grass field so we're gonna have to prep all that but i think we're gonna have to prep field 19 anyway so yeah uh, is it going to be warm enough to sow soybeans that's the question we'll have to find out next time or later on in the later on in the uh, in the season I've got so many jobs to do. We've got fields to fields to harvest, but this rain just isn't letting up at all. It's an absolute nightmare. Could this last season just go all pants? We'll see, I guess. So I'm just gonna go and head back up to the field. Don't forget to go and check out Seabor's um, Let's Play series called Dan on the Farm very 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 good series like I say I'll make a bit of a, an appearance in that thank you so much for watching everybody if you haven't already please hit the likes and subscribe buttons it'll help me out massively keep safe everybody and until the next time we shall see you soon